Friday with WBAL. You can hear him on the radio at 1090. You can hear him on our FM station at 94, 98 Rock. And you can also see him at times on WBAL TV, Channel 11, Sports Broadcasting. So without any further ado from me, I turn this over to Mr. Keith Mills. Okay, thank you so much. Appreciate everybody. Hey, early happy Thanksgiving. Now, how many of you guys would rather be in class right now? Oh, okay. Hey, uh, first thing I want to do is I want the football team to stand up. Stand up, guys. Stand up. Yeah. Now, hold on. I want everybody in the stands to be quiet, and I want you guys to give these guys a standing ovation. There we go. All right, now you sit back down. And the reason we do that, guys, is because you are as much a part of the success as they are. And I'll tell you why in just a second. I have the greatest job in the world. I have been all over the world covering sports. I've covered the Olympics, the World Cup Soccer Tournament. I've been to the World Series. I've been to 17 Super Bowls. And in 2000, I was in Tampa when the Ravens won Super Bowl 35. Yeah, not that hard. Huh? But, but, there's a big but here. The but is, I get more pleasure out of covering a high school sporting event or coming out here and meeting you guys as I do going out to the Ravens complex, which I'm going to do in about an hour or so, and talk to Ray Lewis and Ray Rice and a lot of the Ravens. And the reason, the reason, guys, is what you are a part of now is something very special. There are very few schools, very few students and teams that get a chance to play for a state championship. It doesn't happen that often. And everyone I talk to in the Cadenzville area says that the students, the parents, people that have nothing to do with the school, have a, a, as much to do with the success as the guys on the field. And that's a great compliment to you guys. How many of you guys were at the poly game? Yeah. I'm going to steal Coach Hambor's thunder right here. How many of you are going to the game Friday night? Fantastic. And i tell you what, I'm going to talk to a couple of guys in a minute, and they really appreciate that. As Mr. Lane said, I was fortunate enough to play high school sports. I grew up not far from here in Northern Anne Arundel County at Brooklyn Park High School. Danico grew up in Brooklyn Park before he came here to, um, to uh, Cape Hill. Danico, come on up. Now you and I grew up in the same community. You came here a couple of years ago to Cape Hill High School. And judging from what you told me a few minutes ago, it's one of the greatest things ever happened to you. Yeah, man. Now, what does it mean to have these guys come to every one of your games and support the team like they have? I mean, we need the support. Um, it ain't nothing like having, it's like, when we went to Poly, it was like, we was at home because we had so many fans there. And like, they took over the crowd, so every time we scored, everybody just got loud. And Poly didn't have any fans there. What's been the highlight of the season so far? There you go. Great job. Well done. Hey guys, that's not easy. It's very difficult. It's very difficult to stand up and be interviewed and have all you guys judge every word he says. It's very difficult for these guys every Friday night to go out and play where some people are sitting in the stands and critiquing everything they do. It takes a really tough person to do that. It also takes a special person to go out and support them. And even though you're not officially a part of the team, you are a part of the team. Because what you do in the stands directly affects what they do on the field. Now, the Ravens have a sign in their locker room. And that sign says, we are a family. Fans, players, coaches. And they're serious about that. When the 70,000 people every game at MIT Bank Stadium show up, the Ravens players 
before and after every game, stand up and salute the fans. Terrell Suggs said to me the other day, at the end of the game, when the Cincinnati Bengals were driving for a touchdown, he looked up in the crowd and got inspiration from the 70,000 70, fans who were screaming to stop the Bengals. He got a sack, Pernell McPhee got a sack, and the Ravens won the game. Those guys will say the same thing, that when push comes to shove and it's gut check time, man, you're trying to close out the game, they look up at you guys and they see you making a difference, man, and you cannot replace that. And as supportive as you have been so far this year, and I got a feeling when that game is over, your football team is going to walk off the field with their helmets held high and having nothing that they have done to say we haven't given it our best shot. And whether you win or lose is irrelevant. What's not is you have each other's back, no fear of failure, and you go out there and you play hard every snap and see what happens. And guys, that's all there is. Coach, come on up. Stay the best for last. I'll start bringing you up. Rick, how are you? What a great moment for school. What a great moment guys to share this with everybody. Yeah, it's awesome. And uh, third pep rally this year, right? Third one? Got time to do one more next Friday? Yeah. Hey, um, as we wrap up this assembly, I want to just point out a couple quick things. Every time I've come out here, I've looked you in the eye and I've asked you if you're going to come to the game. Who's, who's been, or who's in the last game? Who was that, Polly? Who was that? Anybody buy tickets yet for Friday? Anybody get tickets already? Who's going on the bus? Bring four buses again. Whether you're there or not, we want you guys with us. And I tell you this all the time, and I really mean it from the bottom of my heart. Up on that wall right there says County Champions, all a bunch of different sports over the past hundred years. First time this year we got a football up there. First time ever, okay? Up there, up in the right corner, 2011 football, first time ever. First time ever, this year this school. Now, what we're trying to do, not just for us, but for you, for everybody, is fill that space right there on that wall right there. And here's what's going to happen. There's going to be people, there's people right now that were like, I was at the poly game Friday, I saw this, and they weren't there. They weren't at the game, but they said they were there. And as you get older, there's going to be probably 20,000 people that say they were there. Okay? But you, you guys that were there, part of a historic night. You're just as much part of that as we are. Now, I'd love you to be there Friday. For real. So when you say you were there, you were really there. So down the road, again, 10, 20 years. It doesn't matter if you even like football, or if you were on the field, or if you know any of these guys, or if you know me. We want you. When you're older, say, when I was in high school that year, 2011, I was there for all the history that happened. And it's, it's because of you that we're doing this. So I just want to say thank you, everybody. Football team wants to thank you as well. Um, and let's go again Friday. That's it. Thank you. Before we dismiss, before we dismiss let's first give a big round of applause for Keith Mills and take some time out of his very busy schedule today.